Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family. Of course, lost yesterday. We lost 2-1 to Marseille at the Valadrome, knocking us out of the Coupe de France in the round of 16. Second year in a row. And yeah, I'm still not over this loss because first of all, this means we can't win the Coupe de France for second consecutive season, which is really embarrassing with how we dominated this tournament before. And second of all, it's it's Le Classique, it's against Marseille. And you have to win every game against Marseille is a World Cup Champions League final. But it seemed like to some players, or at least most of the players on the pitch, it didn't seem like it seemed like just a normal league end game. And that's absolutely disgraceful. But let's go into the tactical analytical review of Paris Saint-Germain versus Marseille. First of all, the lineup, Danilo Pereira has been a really good performer for us this season. But again, Galtier, please, you need to start benching Ramos. Danilo Marquinhos, that's the centre-back partnership. We saw Marquinhos with Danilo, that looked great. Marquinhos, even with Bichabu, that looked great. But as soon as you put him with Sergio Ramos, like, I'm not get, get, trying to give Marquinhos excuses here because Ramos is shit, but Ramos should just not start. Like, he got cooked so many times. And it's like, Galtier, how many times is it going to take you to notice it? Put Danilo... As the center back, it's that simple. It's that simple. But other than that, it was okay. First of all, Hakimi, when he does this, I was like, yeah, he's pressure. When Hakimi plays with pressure, he does not play with full confidence as we've seen him in the last games. Uh, next up, great. I mean, this was the weakness that I, I saw Marseille trying to get. It was behind our line. Them making runs like they were making runs. And I didn't see any runs from our Paris Saint-Germain attackers. It was only the wing-backs. Even the midfielders didn't make any runs. Um, of course, this, uh, I believe, should have been a penalty, but there is still no VAR in the Coupe de France for some reason, and it was not called up. Lucky for Paris Saint-Germain and Ashraf Hakimi. Again, this was beautiful. Fabian Ruiz switching the play because Marseille really pressing there. Nunez picks up the ball, gives it to Neymar. Neymar gives it to Nuno. Nunu shoots it straight at the goalkeeper. This was a great chance that would have would have turned everything so differently because Marseille, they knew they wanted the girl as soon as, soon as possible. They left a big chance here for Paris Saint-Germain. We're just, just not clinical, as usual. Again, we won the ball back here. This was great pressing. We can see Danilo on Gunduzi, Ramos there on Under, the midfielders, the wingbacks, Messi, Neymar. Everyone was pressing there, and we won the ball back. That's what we should have done for more times during the game, but Sadly, we didn't. Again, look at Ramos. This is not a ballerina show. This is a professional football game. And this is how he's getting cooked by an unknown Turkish Cengiz Unde. Embarrassing. Again, long ball here. <laughs> Donnarumma straight to Marseille. And they have an attack. They have an attack. Listen, if Donnarumma and even when Marquinhos was trying to do long balls, if they can't do the long balls, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's try to pass out from the back. And yeah, maybe we will lose the ball. But here we're just giving them the ball. Let's take a risk at least. This is just a guaranteed ball loss. Instead of taking a risk where we may pass it out or we may create an attack. Again, this just beautiful from Under. Well, again, beautiful save from Gianluigi Donnarum. Messi here, beautiful there. Physical on the guy. And we have a counter attack. But again, I want Messi to... Go a little bit down. Rongier follows him and then he gives it to Fabian. But the thing I hate with this Messi Neymar duo, which is probably the best duo in the world, the thing I hate about it is they're so predictable. Like when Messi has the ball here, everyone in the Marseille team is like, all right, he is looking for Neymar. And that's exactly what he did. Look for Neymar. When Neymar gets the ball, he takes a bit, not the best touch, but then again, he looks back for Messi. Neymar and Messi have to stop doing this. They can 100% interchange. They can 100% create chances for each other. But doing it every time you have the ball, every time Messi has the ball, where's Neymar? Every time Neymar has the ball, where's Messi? It becomes way too predictable for the opponent to read. So every time now Messi has the ball, they're saying, let's mark Neymar. Every time Neymar has the ball, they say, let's mark Messi. It's way too predictable. Donnarumma here, I don't know what was wrong with him. Again, it's the same thing with Hakimi. It's the pressure that went into their head. Like, I saw some glimpses of that Real Madrid game. It was an easy ball into the air. Donnarumma, instead of just catching it as he always does, which he's great at, he punches it away. And again, Marseille here, great chance. 
somehow went through uh, Marquinhos' legs, goes above the goal, luckily not into the goal, and then Nuno Mendes there with a great block. Great Nuno. Again, Donnarumma giving the ball away for free to Marseille. I mean, this happened way too many times in this game. Great link up here, Verratti and Hakimi. Hakimi sprints, Kolasinac runs here, fall into each other. But again, we do nothing from this chat. Like, that's the thing. If Marseille are playing high press, that means that when we break out of the press, we'll have very, what, well, three versus three counterattacks. But again, we didn't do anything from these counterattacks. Nuno here dribbling beautifully plus Klaus. Tries to feed Neymar in the box, but again, a uh, ball gets intercepted by Mbemba. Like, Marseille were defending great. Great this game. I love this from Marquinhos. A bit of Grinta. Absolutely on Sanchez. Showing him no breathing room. And we got a throw. That was great. Neymar here beautifully goes past and Bemba gets it here. Again, finds Messi. But no, nothing wrong here. But again, we, we just lost the ball. And then it's Messi again to Neymar. And we lose the ball. It's always the same thing. It's always the same thing. It's way too predictable. Like, Messi here, do something better. Do something better. Uh, again. No one's barking Kulasin. No one's putting any pressure on him so we can just put that top bits without any pressure. We need to stop. We need to stop and do something against it. Verratti here. Can do this should have been a yellow card. This should have been a yellow card. We have a counter-attack. is not even going for the ball. He's just kicking Verratti. The referee is clearly there to see it. But no yellow card. The referee has to be more serious when it comes to giving out cards. Messi, Neymar again trying to link up. We lose the ball. This was great from Sanchez to Under, I believe. But Donnarumma was quick out. Beautiful from Don. Again, shot here. Donnarumma should catch it again. I don't know why he's doing. Goes for the rebound. Great shot by Ganduzi. Great block by Sergio Ramos. And great shot again by Ganduzi from the corner kick. But Donnarumma is there to save it. Great attack here. Neymar gives it to Hakimi. Hakimi sprints. But yeah, again. Nothing happens. And then Neymar, what does he do? Can you guess? He tries looking for Messi. I know they are the sole attackers, but don't be so predictable. Marquinhos here gets a beautiful pass from Verratti. Verratti wants the ball back. Marquinhos takes three unnecessary touches, then tries to find Messi when Messi is marked, and we lose the ball. Stupid. Stupid. And here comes the goal. Vitinha, two players on him. Pressured, lost the ball. Like, Vitinha with back uh, to the oppo uh, opposition goal is so trash, man. He lost the ball. Kenduze gets it. Gives it to Under. Ramos was ahead of Under. I was like, Ramos, listen. You don't have to be too aggressive. You can take it easy. No. He tries to win the ball back immediately. Under makes a quick touch behind, uh, besides him. And then gets penalty to Marseille. And Sanchez slots it. One nay to Olympic Marseille. And this was exactly when... You know, Marseille's pressure had stopped. Because Marseille, they pressured up until the 25th minute. But then, I mean, they couldn't do it anymore. And it was starting to go Paris Saint-Germain's way. But then, they get a goal which completely destroyed the rhythm and momentum of the game. Vitinha here, I don't know what he's doing. Giving these hard passes to Marco Verratti when someone is there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Take it easy. But we, we definitely played so pressured. And yet again, Donnarumma just feeding the ball to Marseille. And giving them easy chances. Great free kick by Messi, but no on target, sadly. Hakimi, yeah, again, on the right side. But this time, actually, <laughs> this was the only time Messi and Neymar linked up well in the first half. Messi fighting Neymar, and Neymar absolutely bang it. Bottom right, but hit the inner side of the post. No golasso. Chance here for Marseille. Do not know my great save from Jonathan Claus. And again, as I said, these passes behind our back line, that's. That's a weakness that Marseille exploited in this game. And Cengiz Under was so close to score. But the ball went above the crossbar. Lost chance here of the game. Lionel Messi. And the ball is dragged out. Corner kick. And what a beautiful corner kick from Neymar Jr. It was a beautiful header from Sergio Ramos. He was unmarked. And great goal for Paris Saint-Germain. You know, this was such an important goal. Marseille got what they wanted in the first half. But Paris Saint-Germain, they were like, no. We're going to destroy what you fought for in this first half. And we got a goal. The goal here is so important because this fucks up the mentality of the Marseille players so much. But what happened when we came back in the second half? Absolutely. This is how it looked when the second half started. 
Is this, is this how you continue with the momentum? Because you felt like Marseille just scored, not us. I don't get it. I don't get it. Here, Verratti got fouled by Ganduzi, and now actually the referee gave out the yellow card. Should have been a yellow card before, but yeah, that's Liga and referees for you. Again, Neymar, Messi, deck riding right. Close our box and they lose the ball, man. Embarrassing. But here, here was the moment of the second half. Neymar tries a fancy thing here, and Bemba reads it perfect, gets the ball into the box. And it's a great shot from Malinovsky. Donnarumma could have saved the action. He should have saved that. But it's 2 1 to Marseille. And after that, of course, I always have hope in Paris Saint Germain, confident that we can do something. But I wanted the game over with because I, I didn't see the hunger, the motivation, the willingness to, 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 to get that goal and to try to win this game. I don't know why. Messi here, bad ball again, trying to find Neymar, Neymar and Messi. Nuno here, dribbles past Klaus beautifully, but then just goes into no man's land and has no option to pass to and then gives away a foul and gets a yellow card. Uh, Verratti subbed out for Carlos Soler. I know Verratti isn't played, but that doesn't matter. This is Marco Verratti. He's always done this. He's perfect with it. Galtier felt Soler would have come in again here. This is the reason Warren should be starting for us. Picks up the ball here. Sprints creates a chance, gives it to Soler, and Soler gives it to Iki Tika, but Iki was offside. Then here, Neymar beautifully actually gives it to Lionel Messi in the box, but Messi again, terrible shot. Uh, Neymar here, bad pass to Warren, Fabian here, bad pass to Nuno, and then the last chance, of course, Nuno Mensch hits the crossbar. Uh, Ramos there for uh, the tap in, but Ramos was offside. I celebrated like a maniac when this happened. Uh, for uh, what five seven seconds i felt like i was in paradise but no i wasn't then the last chance was messi to ramos ramos has it straight at paul lopez but that was game over as i said i'm unhappy with every player's performance i didn't feel the hunger the intensity the willingness to try to win this game i don't know what it was it, marseille they actually knew what the definition of Luc Lassique, what he meant and what this game means for the club, for the city, for the fans, for everyone that's watching this game. Was the Paris Saint-Germain players just came here like it's any other game. The willingness wasn't there, the motivation wasn't there, and as I said, there's no player that scapegoated. I didn't enjoy any player's performance today. Every player underperformed this game. Uh, and question marks has to go to Galtier. <sighs> Are you not motivating the players? What's the issue here? What's the issue at the moment? Like before, when we lost against Arcelon Stade de Rennes, there was some excuses of us missing some key important players and all of this. But right now, we had the rhythm, we had the momentum after lost two victories, and then we go and lose this game. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And I have no hopes even for the Monaco game because how the Paris Saint Germain players turned up here, it was like, they were like, yeah, you know what? Let, 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 let's do. Let's get this win, and then we go to Bayern. Because that's what Marquinhos said after, after the game. Let's get this win, get the qualification, and go back to Paris. That's not how you play. You go there to do it, or you die. That's simple. That's simple. But it felt like no one really understood the meaning of Le Classique, apart from the Marseille players. And um, you know what? Even though they're all my opponents and rivals, I got to congratulate them, because they absolutely deserve to win this game. They showed that they wanted to win much, much, much more than us. A lot of key performance from the, from their team this game. And yeah, you just, you just gotta have to applaud uh, greatness like this. But what we can, what I can take away is Sergio Ramos definitely has to be dropped. Danilo Pereira should only be playing as a centre back, and Warren Zaire Emery definitely has to start next game against Monaco. I don't know why he not, needs to do more to deserve to play because at the moment it feels like we are at a similar situation which we were on the Poch last season where players played because of their name and the rating on FIFA and when they have done pass in their history, for example, Sergio Ramos and yeah, oh he's young, oh he's inexperienced, no, it's all about performances, if he performs he plays, if he underperforms he doesn't play, it's that simple, so this is the lineup. I want next game versus Monaco and in the Champions League versus Bayern if Kylian Mbappe is not back yet. I want Danilo to be playing as the centre-back. I want Vitinha to be playing much deeper, closer to Verratti instead of up. And then Fabian and Warren Zaire Emery on the wings. As it, 
diamond midfielders i don't want vitina to play alongside messi neymar he can't link up with them he's too weak because they pressure him too much there i would love to have fabian up there and warren zaira emery vitina should drop deep with marco danilo center back and warren start that was it let me know in the comments down below if i missed anything and as i said i blame every player no play scapegoated that includes Lionel messi neymar jr vitina verati fabian Warren, Soler, Hakimi, Marquinhos, Danilo, Nuno, Donnarumma, Ramos, anybody. Everybody on that pitch was disgusting yesterday. And 100% they have to do something big now against Monaco, even though I don't expect. I always expect and have confidence in my team. But this Monaco game, I, I would rather not watch it. But that was it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the game. And if I missed anything big in this game. And apart from that, as usual, allez, allez, allez Paris.